pulled in late thanks to a little traffic. So we're setting up steel while guys are in class today. Uh, full class, 14 guys, three days of school, and then 14 antelope need to die in the next uh, next three or four days. So it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm starting from zero. I mean, um, like I said, I've always had just conventional gear, and um, I want to learn from the, the, the basics up, and uh, um, the school has, has been awesome for me, the classroom and, and the range, and just getting the basics. I'm an engineer, so I like a lot of the background, and instructors are great about going into, not too much into theory and technical, but practical applications has been awesome. All right, everybody watching, I'm aiming at the white target. Okay, pay attention to the, the orange one. Ready? Ready. Ready. Well, you know, my I guess my favorite part is just kind of learning all the, uh, the different things for, almost from the ground up. Um, and, and really being with a lot of other guys who have similar interests and hearing their experiences. Uh, it's It's been a, a real broadening experience, but a lot of fun. I was really surprised. I've never fired at an animal more than 250 yards, and we started at 300. So I did well at 300, and, and a group that just amazed me, even at 1,000 yards. Yeah, uh, kind of A to Z, got some errors and some of the things I thought I knew corrected. Um, got a lot of help in just, you know, set up of the gun, set up on the gun. Uh, wind was huge. You don't get a lot of opportunity to uh, spend a lot of time in really crazy wind and understand how to deal with that. So that, that's been the, the biggest winner for me. To sign up for a long range university course, uh, being able to just hit a target over and over at a thousand yards is uh, super exciting. All the science behind it and all the technique behind it to bring it all into a package and make you reliable shooter to make shots out to that distance should pique any shooter's interest. Been shooting since I was in sixth grade. So kind of a lot of experience, but not classroom setting of techniques of trigger squeeze, breath holds, all, all that kind of stuff. Taking that information and then putting it into a package to make you a better shooter, I think is why I came here and what I wanted to do. Ready? Ready? That's about a minute, four o'clock. Did you hold for wind on that one? Or? This is my very first antelope hunt, so, you know, I'm not looking for the world record, but definitely, you know, you're a good representative of the area, like what they're talking about, you know, the 13 to 14 inches, I'd be ecstatic with, you know. Um, but yeah, definitely not looking for the, the biggest, baddest monster in the world, but having the ability to reach out and touch, I, I think there's gonna be a lot of opportunities just from seeing the animals around here. Just a little bit left and get deep down in that deal. Once we get up onto the top, we should be able to take a shot there. right wind. It's going to be about a point one and a half minute left to right. 
Point five, minute and a half. Minute and a half? Minute, yep. Yeah. Just put that, just put that, that minute. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, if he's quartering. Yeah. You say so. Quartering towards us right here. Walking towards us. Yeah, I got it. Stay on him, he's gonna come a little closer. 400. Give you a perfect shot. 400, shoot two. Yeah, give me give me a click above four. Give me give me two above four. And for a five, for a five mile, mile an hour, it's 0. 0.7. For a ten, it's 1.4. So I think we need we need about one yeah. right now. Executive Director of the NRA Whittington Center. I've been here for 10 years. Started in January of 2005 and I've uh, had the great fortune of uh, being involved with uh, one of the finest outdoor recreation facilities in the country. We're standing in the Frank Brownell Museum of the Southwest. Uh, this museum uh, is home to um, firearms that, uh, that helped settle the West, if you will, uh, along with modern firearms and just really neat historical firearms. The displays are constantly changing uh, in the museum here, but we do have a couple really unique firearms. One is a Colt single action that went up San Juan Hill with Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders uh, that was donated to us through an estate and is on permanent display here at the center. And the other is a Winchester 1866 rifle that was um, issued to a Sergeant James and he was with uh, Colonel Custard's uh, troops at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Um, that rifle was lost uh, along with Sergeant James at the Battle of Little Bighorn, was recovered by the Native Americans and then recovered again by the U.S. Army at Wounded Knee. Um, the gentleman that owns the firearm has spent over 14 years documenting the, the providence of this firearm and it is highly probable that this, this firearm was lost at the Battle of Little Bighorn and recovered at Wounded Knee and it's just a really neat piece of American history that we have the opportunity to display here. So the NRA Whittington Center, while we're associated with the NRA uh, and not funded or managed, we are open to anyone, whether you're an NRA member or not. Um, we're open 364 days a year. We're officially closed Christmas Day. Um, otherwise, um, no matter where you're from, uh, who you are, you're welcome to come out and utilize the facility. Um, your NRA membership doesn't get you any special privileges out here, but your NRA Whittington Center membership does get you some special privileges, discounts on shotgun targets, um, things like that. But uh, we are a, uh, a public facility, we're open to the public, and uh, we have the great fortune of having people from all over the world to come and visit us here. Yeah, I got the Going back to the left now. It's kind of running right to left. You guys ready? Yeah. I think three and a half is... Just didn't feel comfortable out of here. About an inch more of his body, and I definitely would have pulled the trigger, but just didn't feel comfortable. He needed to clear about one more inch. Would have been in the truck. I've heard this is like a broken record. <laughs> These antelope, I mean, it's a lot of fun, though. We've been on stock after stock. Dwayne can shoot. He's one of the best dudes we had here at the class, so it's kind of fun being with him, because, you know, some guys you just get the sense that, you know, they're cold blooded. Wayne's cold blooded. So, but that was good. We kind of, cause the camera might be able to see him a little better than Dwayne would being prone. So, <clears throat> you're not feeling it, just back off. This, he just went over the hill. We've got this decoy in. So, I think we can get back on if we want. It's a good buck.
slightly, I think you can see. Were you when you were born? Were you on time or were you late? I came into this world exactly the <laughs> second I was supposed to. <laughs> You're good, man. We'll shoot an antelope exactly when we're supposed to. Right. Third from the back. Five seventy four. Half minute right to left. He's walking, right? Yes. Half minute right to left, you sure? Yep. I'm at five seventy five. He's in the back, right? Six. Yes, last one. Six hundred <clears throat> ninety-eight. Dial of 720 now. He's chasing that small look up. He's third. He's right in the very middle. He's facing left, right? Le third facing from the right. left. Facing right. Now he's facing right, shaking his head. Yeah. 725. <laughs> 725. What's the win? And you half right to left. Right to left? Yep, now. Like straight up. No win? No win. What's he at? Shoot, it's going to be 755. Is that higher? 760. You guys ready? You see which one he is? Yeah. He's bowing his head right to the other yeah, one. Half second. minute right. 
Half minute, right? Yep. Got him. Nailed it. Nice job, my man. Oh, flying Hawaiian comes through. So <laughs> good. Felt great. Damn good shot. Nailed it. Dropped him right down in his tracks. 766. Hey, we we worked hard for this buck. We worked hard for this buck. This was really rewarding. You know, sometimes you think an antelope is just kind of a walk in the park, but Adam, way to go, Dwayne. Way to go, James. Good instruction. Hey, perfect lighting. The perfect golden lighting. hour. The golden, golden hour. Lighting. Yes, sir. 766. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo! Uh, love it. Love it, love it. Everything and then some. I just look at that shot, man. You couldn't have put it any better. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm right. very proud of you. Way to go, Adam. Way to go. Yes, sir. This is one of the hardest animals I've ever worked to get. I mean, with the long grass, with the wind. It was a rough day, no doubt about it. But it all came to a glorious conclusion, <laughs> no doubt, man. At 776 yards, it's a beautiful heart shape. Couldn't have asked for better. Great company, great animal, great hunt, great shot, great gun. Doesn't get better than that. Everything that you learned in the school we use today, including ranging with the reticle, everything. I mean, everything, we put everything to use today. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> we put everything to use today. So tell me about your wind hold. I mean, look at this shot. 700 and what was it? Close to 800 yards. A minute of wind is eight inches at that distance. So we had to dope a little wind and so you held probably our route right here because we had a right to left wind and real close to there. It's just, <laughs> you couldn't have drawn it on him any better. Okay, called it for <laughs> a half minute of wind, squeezed off the trigger and he didn't take another step straight down. Couldn't, oh, have, couldn't have been a better wind call <gasps> and range. Oh, and he's such a good call. Oh, that was no, great, great prompt. Beautiful, beautiful animal. I mean, Beautiful animal. Yeah. Not even one bit of blood on it, you know? Just like, and I like how he lays out. Ooh, buddy. That's the good stuff if right I, there. If I can get you. Right here. Yeah. Just like that. It's a game changer. Definitely a, a game changer to have that, to have that confidence to be able to squeeze that trigger and know that that bullet's gonna go a thousand yards and hit what you're aiming at is a is a game changer i think not only for for me but um, unfortunately for the animals <laughs> Jim, can this way? There you go. the fact that you can just go outside like this morning i was ringing steel at a thousand yards before breakfast the fact that you can have the ability to be at a range that you can open it up to a thousand yards and shoot as much as you want and you know 
thankfully for here, it was only two shots, both hitting the bullseye that's, you know, four inches in, in diameter at a thousand yards back to back, like before breakfast, that ability to, to have the facilities available to you so that you can smell as much gunpowder and sling as much bullets as you want is phenomenal. And then to have the instructors, you know, bettering your technique and giving you lessons and how to better yourself and then going out and being able to practice it, I mean, it's unbeatable. Like, you wish you could do this every day. Get it at first, yeah? Some iron one. 